In this video lesson we shall have a look at an 80 plus power supply and how they differ physically from an unbranded one. The one shown here is called the Triple X Edition 650 Watt Modular Power Supply. If we open up the box we can see that it is split into two compartments. Within the top compartment you will find a pouch. In this pouch you will find the modular cables. The user manual describes the special features found in this power supply. The product information, wire set and cable connections. Installation guide and some self troubleshooting including the specifications of the voltage rails. We shall now look at these cables. The first of these has a 6 pin PCIe connector at one end and 3 SATA power cables at the other. In our example this unit has been supplied with two of these. Next is a plug that can either be a 6 or 8 pin PCIe plug at one end and the other an 8 pin PCIe plug. Once again, there are two. This cable is a PCIe 6 pin plug at one end, one Berg plug and three Morlick plugs. In the lower part of the box you should find the power supply and a further box to the left. Inside this box are two main cables. The first is for use in the United Kingdom, whilst the other is a two pin cable that can be used in the United States. If we remove the power supply from the box we can find a number of hard wired connectors. A 24 pin along with some 6 and 8 pin power plugs. We shall look closer at these when they are connected to the motherboard or devices. Here we can see the modular sockets, two 6 pins and six 6 pins. On the rear of the power supply is the standard 3 pin kettle socket and the off and on switch. On the side there are the specifications of the input and output including the power racings. Here we can see the 80 plus badge. One of the main advantages of this type of power supply is how quiet it is and this is mainly due to the fact that the fan uses bearings so it achieves a smooth operation and is almost silent, unlike unbranded power supplies that uses bushes. We shall see this later when it comes to switching the unit on. Fitting the power supply is straightforward. The fan is pointed downwards and is supported by four screws. Here we can see the power supply installed into the case.